This week in movies, death is everywhere, but it's not all depressing. Quentin Tarantino called Big Bad Wolves his favorite film of 2013, and it's easy to see why. Great cinematography, black humor, shrewd plot twists, suspense, and a few choice splatterific scenes make this Israeli comedy horror thriller a ton of fun for genre film fans. The story revolves around a man who seeks revenge after his young daughter is kidnapped and murdered. <laughs> Famed Canadian director Adam Egoyan is back with Devil's Knot, a moody courtroom drama set in the American South. He went out riding bikes with Michael, but I told him he better be home by 4.30. I don't see the boy no one. It stars Reese Witherspoon as the mother of one of three boys who are murdered, and Colin Firth as the scrupulous defense lawyer who looks beyond the obvious when a group of goth teens are pinned with the crime. It's a very delicate situation. This crime is unthinkable. What if they did it? And what if they didn't? Did you kill any of those three boys? No. Anytime anything weird happens around here, people blame it on devil worshippers. American actor Thomas Hayden Church, whom you may know from the film Sideways, Stars in Quebec director Emmanuel Haas de Marais' darkly comedic drama Whitewash about a snowplow driver who kills a man, buries the body, and wakes up alone in a snow-covered forest. Beginning of the end. I didn't do anything wrong. Winner of the Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Film, Italian director Paolo Sorrentino's La Grande Belleza is a favorite to take the Oscar in the same category. This existential Fellini-esque reverie follows a 65-year-old writer and socialite through a few sleepless nights as he wanders the streets of Rome and tries to make sense of his life. In quello che si potrebbe definire il vortice della mondanità. Ma io non volevo essere semplicemente un mondano. Volevo diventare il re dei mondani. That's it for this week in movies. Hopefully next week we'll find a happier theme.